I want to move us to the no huddle offense, but I got to hear quickly your your take here on Darrington Evans as your late round league winner. It's actually funny because Pat, as we mentioned, one of the most accurate guys alongside you mentioned Darrington Evans as well. Really? So that's two of the brightest minds in the game bringing up Darrington Evans. So what is your case for this guy? I mean, I can make it very, very quick here. Last year, we looked at it. We said Christian McCaffrey has been getting all this volume. Let's just see who's his backup. And early in the offseason, we thought maybe it was Reggie Bonifant. Later in the offseason, we knew it was going to be Mike Davis. So it was go out and get Mike Davis everywhere you can get him. And look how that turned out. Yeah, You're taking chances on this. You can't do – it's not like I said earlier how you can't just predict there's going to be another James Robinson. That's so rare for that to happen. You can't predict there's going to be another Mike Davis where a guy comes out of nowhere and steps into your lineup and gives you essentially RB1 numbers all year long aside from a few games. But Derrick Henry, over 700 touches the last two years. He's also getting up there in age for a running back. I want to own his backup, and and Evans hasn't showed us that much. This one is a a pure situation a uh, pure potential volume play, an offense that you know wants to be revolving around the run there. If Henry goes down, who's the next man up? Not a lot of competition in that backfield. Evans would be the guy. Uh, you know, somebody else like they brought in Brian Hill. Uh, Brian Hill in his opportunities, he just hasn't showed it for us, right? You get maybe the odd game pop up once in a while, but he had plenty of opportunities to get the starts in Atlanta and never came through. So um, Darrington Evans is a guy that if he gets into that starting role in that offense, they're going to try to ride him. He's not going to give you what Derrick Henry gives you, but he can give you RB2 numbers, maybe even RB1 numbers the way they run that offense. So uh, he's a guy that I want to throw on my bench. You're getting him completely free. No one's mentioning him in the same yeah. – voices you know tony pollard and alexander madison and the gus edwards like you mentioned those other backups who could really vault up the the list if there was an injury so you get him so cheap in the the final rounds a guy could maybe win your league very intriguing yeah that line that run heavy scheme could be could be if uh, henry is such a tank that i don't see it happening but <laughs> it is, we thought mccaffrey was mr you know the jack like couldn't couldn't hurt him either so a very intriguing handcuff that nobody talks about for sure I love it. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments, check out some more videos, and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below.